After nearly 14 years, the Duck Song has finally received a fourth entry in the series. Back when YouTube was dominated by videos like Annoying Orange and Charlie Bit My Finger, this charming little animation of a cute duck annoying people for grapes stole the hearts of everyone that just so happened to see it. And until now, it seemed as though 3 was going to be the magic number when it came to the series. But of course, here we are with a juicy fourth video for us all to sink our beaks into. Now, up until this point, the duck song to me has just seemed like an innocent little song for children. I mean, it was shown in many schools after all. But upon watching the entire series, including the fourth one again many times, I think I have a theory as to what's actually going on behind the scenes. But to understand that, we first have to go all the way back to 2009. Now, if you for some reason don't know what the duck song is all about, I'll give you a brief rundown. A random guy in a blue shirt is just running a lemonade stand when a duck comes to ask him for grapes. He says he doesn't have any and the duck waddles away. He then proceeds to do the exact same thing day after day until eventually the guy respects the duck's dedication and buys him grapes. To which the duck responds, mm, No thanks. And that's where it ends. The next two videos pretty much have the same premise, with the duck asking day after day for grapes and just being a general annoyance to the people around him. Nothing too out of the ordinary for a cartoon. Even the fourth one seems normal at first glance, with it basically just rehashing what happened in the first one, albeit not word for word. But the whole thing becomes odd when we take a look at a video that isn't even uploaded by Forest Fire 101, a video called Poopers the Magic Penguin. Now, you may be wondering, Pebbles, why are we looking at this video? Isn't it just a fan-made duck song? Well, upon seeing that this isn't actually uploaded by Force Fire 101, it would be pretty easy to believe that it's completely unrelated. But if you dig a bit deeper, you can find a pretty interesting comment. According to Brian Oden, writer and singer of the actual songs themselves, Hooper's The Magic Penguin is actually a part of the lore of the universe. Wait, 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 lore? Is he outright confirming that there's lore here? Yes, he definitely is. But what is the lore? What is the secret story being told here? Well, hold on to your grapes, everyone, because it's time to get into the real meat and potatoes of today's theory. After watching these videos over and over and getting these songs permanently burned into my brain, I have reason to believe that the duck is actually a time traveler. Okay, okay, wait, I know what you're thinking, and before you type your comments, let me explain. In the days leading up to the fourth Duck Song's release, Forest Fire 101 posted several teaser images to his community page. The first one shows the duck in space. The second one portrays the duck as a pirate discovering hidden treasure. The third one has the duck face to face with the dragon. And the fourth and final one shows the duck as some sort of Sherlock Holmes type detective. Now, if you're looking at this and thinking it's just a random goofy teaser, I ask you to look again. Because if we're truly living in a universe with magic penguins and animals that can talk, who's to say dragons were never a thing in this universe as well? And if they are, then how did the duck manage to meet one? The answer? If he traveled through time. Same is the case for the pirate one, or even the detective one. Pretty much all of these scenarios can easily be explained if and only if the duck is a time traveler, or if he possesses some sort of multi-dimensional power that the other characters don't have. Even the space teaser can be explained by this theory, but not in the exact same way. I actually think that in this one, he's in the future rather than the past. Why do I say this? Well, if we're supposed to believe that this is Earth, then why is this planet here? The moon being bigger than normal could be explained by just the duck being closer to the moon, but that same explanation doesn't account for this planet. So whatever happened to cause this planet to be that close to Earth must have not happened yet, which further reinforces this theory. Now, is this video absolutely insane? Yes. Am I looking way too much into this? Most definitely, but we're still not done yet. This theory would also perfectly explain why the duck comes back time and time again, simply bored with his life. He knows that since he can travel through time, there are pretty much no consequences. He gets threatened by both the lemonade stand guy and the corner store woman, but he still tests their patience again and comes back. 
He knows that no matter what anyone does, nothing will ever really happen to him. And with this realization, it makes a lot of sense why he would go to these different time periods. Either he's taking advantage of the lack of consequences, or he's trying to make his life interesting again. By going to all of these different moments in time, and attempting to annoy other creatures like how he annoyed the Lemonade Stand guy all those years ago. And when he eventually gets bored with that, he goes back. All the way back to before the Lemonade Stand guy even met the corner store woman. It's presumed that after the duck indirectly introduced the two, that they hit it off. I mean, we see the Lemonade Stand guy walk back into the corner store after the duck leaves to talk to the woman some more. Even in the Poopers the Magic Penguin song, he flat out says that he likes the corner store woman. I like the corner store woman, but I'm kinda shy. But the interesting thing about this is that I don't think this was the duck's true intention. The duck this entire time has done nothing but be an annoyance. He pushes people to a point where they literally threaten him. And even after all that, he still comes back to annoy some more. So why are we to believe that he's all of the sudden being thoughtful and intentionally matchmaking these two together out of the kindness of his heart? It just doesn't really add up. The duck heard her threaten to duct tape him to the wall in the second part, so it makes more sense that he would go and ask the one human he knows, the lemonade stand guy, to go disarm her of her duct tape, so he can safely do what he does best. I really don't think he intended for them to be interested in each other. Instead, this is what I think happened. The duck somehow one way or another discovers time travel. He's excited and immediately starts taking advantage of it. He annoys some poor guy that's just trying to sell lemonade, then he goes and irritates the cashier at the corner store until she's had enough. And once she threatens him, he goes and asks the lemonade stand guy for help because he knows the lemonade stand guy wouldn't be suspected. The duck then asks him to borrow her duct tape so she can't use it on him. I mean, that's the very thing she threatened him with, so if she doesn't have it, he can just go annoy her some more. What he doesn't realize, however, is that the two hit it off. Once all is said and done, the Lemonade Stand guy still goes back into the store once again to talk to the woman. This eventually causes the Lemonade guy to stop running the Lemonade Stand, which in turn made the duck realize his mistake. But not being absolutely heartless, he decides to let them do their thing and not interfere. He then proceeds to travel to a handful of different time periods in the hopes of maybe recapturing the fun he had annoying everyone around him, but in other ways. This presumably doesn't work in the long term, and he eventually caves and comes back to before he made the mistake of introducing the pair to each other. So he can essentially trap this poor man into an infinite loop of the duck constantly asking for grapes and bothering him over and over again. Just like old times. This theory, if true, would certainly make the duck song a lot darker, with the duck essentially keeping the man prisoner for all eternity. Time is still passing for the duck. He can still remember everything that's happened, but the Lemonade Stand guy is unfortunately stuck in place unknowingly separated from his true love, instead being forced to put up with this annoying duck forever. I will tell you one thing, I really don't know if this theory is true, but what I do know is that while I was watching this newest entry, I myself felt like I was transported back in time as well. But who knows, maybe the duck really does have Alzheimer's like some of the comments say. And maybe there is no story and I'm just looking way too much into an innocent little kid song. That second one honestly seems a bit more likely. But it sure is interesting to think about. And hey, you never know, it could very well end up being right. But anyway guys, that's gonna do it for today's video. If you enjoyed it and want more from the channel, feel free to subscribe and hit the bell for more unhinged theories just like this. Alright everyone, that's gonna be it from me. I love every single one of you with all my heart. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.